So I got them all harvested. Some of these are hardneck Italian garlic. I think a couple of these are music garlic. This one here, nice size bulbs. Just beautiful. Once your garlic is done curing about two to three weeks, you can go ahead and gently remove the outer papery skins. So these are pretty much done here. You can use some gloves, which kind of helps remove the uh, papery skins that are embedded with dirt. So you just want to be careful that you don't strip all the papery skins off your garlic because that will help preserve your garlic. Now you can leave the neck on your garlic for storage or you can cut them off by cutting about half an inch above the cloves. So this is what I usually do. I just put on my gloves and just gently remove the dirty outer paper skins. You're going to do the same thing around the garlic bulb. Don't rub too hard. You don't want to remove all the skin. You want to keep that intact. So normally they just kind of come up like that and I'm not rubbing hard at all. But the gloves do help with removing the dirt. And sometimes you can just kind of rub on the roots and some of them actually fall off. If they don't all fall off, you can just cut them and leave it, leaving about a quarter of an inch of the roots intact. And that's pretty much it. And then after you clean them up, you can store them. Hello everyone. So it's been about two and a half weeks since I started drying or curing the garlic. So they are completely cured or dry. So I mainly grew, actually they are all hard deck types of garlic. So if you grew any soft neck varieties, you can actually braid them, braid the um, leaves and hang them up to dry or even just leave them that, that way as you use them. So what I did with the hard deck garlic, what I usually do, and you can do this with soft neck as well if you don't want to leave the stems on or braid them, is you cut the stalk about a quarter of an inch to half an inch away from the bulb itself. So just like that and cut the roots off. Sometimes you can kind of just brush on it and some of them fall off. So they are ready for storing. Now, another thing is if you have any garlic that's partially coming apart like these here, or even the ones that are pretty much, um, some of them cracked or they kind of came apart, these will not store well. So you'll want to use these right away. Um, so the ones that you can store are the ones that are still intact. And depending on, variety, on the variety that you grew, they can last in storage for up to six months um, to about nine months. So just depending on where you store it. So uh, the best uh, place to store them is in a cool, well-ventilated, dry area and dark. So away from any light, um, sunlight or light can alter the uh, beneficial constituents of the garlic as well as the aroma. So you want to store them in a cool, dry and dark place with well um, air circulation good circulation so i usually store mine in the basement and they last until next spring or summer so well into about between yeah six to nine months so something's less just depending on your storage um temperatures uh, ideal temperatures for storing garlics about a little bit above 40 degrees between 40 and i think 55 degrees uh, fahrenheit so somewhere where it's cool anyway so um that's pretty much it i hope that you guys um Find this video helpful and let me know if you grew garlic this year so they are such a great crop to grow um, although it does take a while it takes about um, generally about seven to nine months before harvest and stay tuned i'll be planting some garlic this fall so a few weeks um, before the first day of frost so sometime in october i'll be getting the garlic cloves in the ground and also make sure to save the bigger cloves so this is a nice size bulb so i'll be saving this bulb for planting the cloves because you'll be getting this a similar size so they're pretty much clones of the garlic itself so the bigger cloves will yield in bigger garlic and also when you're storing your garlic you can place them in a cardboard box i've got some garlic in here as well so lots of elephant garlic in there and some cloves i'll be using um, just put them in a single layer. Don't, don't stack them up on top of each other. You can also reuse a, an egg carton box. Those are great for storing garlic or even a basket. So just make sure that um, your container has um, or will provide airflow and good ventilation. Again, so thanks for watching everyone. And again, I hope that you guys find this video helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Happy gardening.